Well, we have heard these reports of gunfire and explosions in a place called Watertown. That's a district north of MIT where that police officer was shot earlier on today. Now, we are getting very sketchy reports about whether or not there is any kind of link, but certainly what we've seen are pictures of a man on the floor of police officers, a large number of police officers surrounding him. And so uh, we're still waiting to find out more about whether or not that's linked to that earlier incident. As you said, a police officer was shot by a gunman in uh, the university campus of the uh, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, a very prestigious um, university in America, and um, a massive police, um, a massive manhunt began after that with uh, helicopters involved, large numbers of police officers. Uh, Susanna, I know the details are still sketchy, but have we learned anything about the circumstances that led to, to the, the shooting? Well, we don't know a great deal at all. There's been a lot of uh, information flowing floating around on social media, but at this stage the authorities haven't really given us a great deal of detail in, in, in terms of the police officer who was shot. We know that he was responding to a disturbance and, uh, and was shot by a gunman on that campus, but at this stage it's still very, uh, very sketchy. But uh, uh, this, this incident happened a short distance away from Boston and uh, it's a city which is in a heightened state of alert at the moment and certainly this latest incident is um, something that is is concerning local people. There's a lot of uh, people talking about it on, on social media at the moment, but we're still waiting to get more details.